Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we're, go we're going to talk about SSD ID, and if you have to do something like that, I we are going to show you here this uh, hard drive. This is an old hard drive, so I was just moving another camera that I have next to me, and I'm going to show you here. So you can see if you are very new, uh, maybe. Today in 2016, I mean, if you are using one of these, this is very old school. If you are maybe, I don't know, teenager, you are 20 years old and you are seeing one of these, you, you will say, well, I never saw one of those. Uh, I am uh, of the age, I mean, I'm very old school. I, my One of the first computer was the Commodore 64, so I, I'm, I'm used to, to see this kind of thing. So if you are getting some customer uh, or some customer, um, they bring a computer to you and you are seeing this kind of old connector and you're thinking, well, I don't know, what is that? So if you're used to, to the SATA connector, so this is a new hard drive. This is SSD, very fast, like 500 megabytes a second. Usually this kind of hard drive are like maybe 40, 50 megabytes a second, so, something like that. So this is very old school. The, uh, this is the platter hard drive, the mechanical one, but the 2.5 inches. So it will be the same like this one, but uh, SATA. So this is all new, new stuff. This is very old. So I'm going to show you a little bit the benchmark uh, between uh, this uh, hard drive and this one so you can decide if it is worth it uh, for you or not so i'm going to show you here so on the side on the on the left we see the another brand that is called king spec so i don't know that brand i never bought it before but here as you can see here it says uh for 59 uh, right and 108 uh, read so that is is very is very good for being a hard drive like that all i mean uh, being a, just a ssd drive if you are going to um, buy a, S a SATA hard drive you will see numbers bigger than these like 500 megabytes uh, read and write here is is fine because it's a but a little uh, connector is that is why some um, some sometimes you are going to see that it's called like a para uh, connector as you can see here I'm going to uh, select it so if you if you see it, that is the, the the connector so here on this on the side on the on the right you will see here the connector I mean I'm sorry the uh, the speed uh, in this case we have the um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the mechanical drive. So this is the huge one, the black one that you see, uh, 39 uh, read and uh, 37 uh, write. And in it, on the bottom, you see 40 uh, and 26. So uh, the write speed is slower and the read speed is faster. So uh, it's a little bit, that, that is why I don't recommend uh, this this brand that I was saying, I mean, this brand, Fashion Sprout, you will see for $15, $16, but they're very, I mean, they're slow. I mean, I, I don't recommend it because of that. I mean, the speed, uh, the the money that you're going to save, yeah, because like half of, of that price, but I don't know if maybe if it is worth it or not. So I'm going to tell you the first, the main, features or the main advantage that you're going to find in this kind of uh, SATA, I mean, in this kind of drives, the, the solid hard drive, the good thing is that you can shake it, you can drop it, you can knock it, you can do whatever, and it will resist almost anything. And uh, in this case, if you have the old hard drive, if you drop it a little bit, I mean, if you drop it, or uh, maybe with the vibration or something like that, it will stop working or the, the surface will start getting uh, bad sectors and, and all those things. So that is, is very bad. So main advantage of this or the, the other hard drive that I said, it will be 
low temperature, so it doesn't heat, it doesn't <laughs> produce much heat. They are very quiet because it, it doesn't have any moving part inside. Uh, they resist any any vibration, or if you drop it, it will resist. Also, they are faster, so that is the the main advantage of, uh, about those. The other thing, the other hard drive, they are, they they produce a lot of heat. I mean, if you have a notebook, uh, it will consume your battery faster. So if you have a notebook, it's better to have one of these because of because of that it will consume less, it will draw less power. So that is that is a great. You will have more autonomy on the on the notebook. So that is one thing. Here I have an, uh, one adapter just in case. I don't know. Maybe you have an old computer, a desktop computer. I, and you are not going to be able to use this uh, connector, so I'm going to show you right away. So as you can see, uh, this kind of connector is very small. So if you compare it with a, a regular hard drive, you are not going to be able to connect it, but if that is your case, the options are this. You're going to grab one of these, and then you're going to connect it the way it's is right now I'm going to connect it. So, okay, so you, once you connect it like that, you're going to connect the power here, the big uh, cable over here, and that's it. That is the way you're going to, to use it. If you have a notebook, you are, I mean a laptop, you're not going to need this adapter. You can connect it right away. It, that doesn't happen with the SATA. With the SATA, uh, you can connect it in a any desktop computer or also you're going to be able to connect it on any notebook, uh, no, no problem. But that is uh, the thing. Also, if you have to re retrieve some data, maybe you have some customer, they bring the computer, you don't know how to retrieve the data from the old hard drive. It might be this hard drive and you are selling this hard drive or well, the other brand that I told you that is better. And then that way you can uh, connect using this connector. This brand is very good. Uh, Sabret, Sabrent, yeah. Uh, uh, I bought a few things of this brand and it works great. Um, you can connect it the way it is. Uh, and that's it. I mean, if you you are going to need a, a, power, a power brick, so you're going to connect it like that, or you can use the power of your PC, and then the way that way you can connect it to any external uh, computer. So I'm going to show you uh, right now. So this is uh, how it comes, this kind of adapter. So that way you can use for notebooks here, for uh, regular hard drives here, or if you have a SATA drive, you can connect it here. So of course, it's one at a time. You cannot connect them all at the same time. It will not work. But that is something that will help you to retrieve uh, data. So I bought one of these. I said, well, it has everything I need just in case the customer comes. Uh, that is the, the story. So I'm going to leave in the description of this video the Amazon link in case if, if you want to record, the, I mean, if you want to buy this kind of hard drive, I hope uh, this video was helpful for you. Remember, click and like if you like it, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave me a comment how you fix uh, your computers and if, if you have one of these uh, hard drives. See you next time. Bye.